All right, Wes Scott Everts, SB Nation recruiting out here at Texas State 7-on-7 seven seven, uh, with Houston Kincaid quarterback JT Granado, 2015 prospect. Uh, JT, you guys just pulled out a close win there. How do you feel about your performance? Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, we played two today, and I feel like this is my worst game but, of the day, but we still won, so uh, I'm happy to win. Um, and uh, I, I, just, I just keep hoping that we win, and that's all I care about right now. And, uh, my long goal is just to win this whole thing. And, uh, Give a good name for the kid. What do you feel like you've done well today? What have I done well today? Um, I really do think that uh, I think it's been a mixture of both uh, throwing the long ball and uh, a mixture of the uh, shorter yardage balls, uh, and also consistency. Um, and uh, specifically, uh, I guess it would be—I uh, mean, just throwing the ball, throwing the ball to receivers like Thomas and other guys that. Uh, really know how to go up and get it. So, uh, You lost Maven to a, a leg injury earlier. H how much of an adjustment was that, losing you know, one of your favorite targets? Oh, uh, you know, uh, stuff like that happens, and uh, that's unfortunate for him. I hope he's out, but you know, you just got to deal with it. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job of adjusting, uh, especially since we have Thomas, too, who's a very good athlete. So replacing him is okay. okay. And in terms of your recruitment, do you have any offers right now? Um, I've heard from... Uh, a multitude of schools that uh, that they were going to offer as soon as I could, I would, I would go to camp. And really, I just it's been really tough going to these camps, uh, specifically schools like Arkansas State, Colorado. I'm going up to LSU, uh, I think two days from now. And uh, I've also been places like Texas a and and they said they'd uh, they hit me, uh, call me back up as soon as I could, um, and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, what has LSU told you? Do you feel like they might be close to offering if you go down to camp, or they just really want to get you down uh, there I, and evaluate you? I got you? to know the uh, new offensive coordinator, Cam Cameron, uh, in LSU, and uh, he's a really great guy. We talked for a while. I think we talked for a good 45 minutes, uh, and specifically talked about camp. And uh, you know, hopefully, if he said if I play well, then uh, good things will come. Leading offer, so I think that's on my mind to just play as best I can. Have, has Texas A&M told you kind of where they where you stand on their quarterback board at all? Yes, uh, they actually told. Uh, I don't know who they told, but I've heard that uh, I'm number three on their quarterback, which is uh, I need to get better, and uh, hopefully I can be number one as soon as I can. Any other camp plans for the rest of the summer? Uh, I'm going to, like I said, LSU. Um, I'm also going to Houston, and uh, I've heard from Arkansas and Arkansas State. Uh, I might be going up to Arkansas soon. Uh, also. Uh, Fortunately, I missed Stanford, going up to Stanford, but uh, I might possibly also go up to Alabama, so those are my last few. What have you heard from Alabama? Um, what have I heard from Alabama? Well, actually, uh, the person who just last uh, talked or videoed me uh, told me that uh, Alabama is very interested in me, so uh, I guess that's cool, and uh, I talked uh, I talked to one of their coaches for a long time in the Kincaid room, so uh, I think uh, that little, we have a little bit of interest in each other. What about schools that you followed growing up? Were you a fan of any school, any school that you that you My watched mom's side of the family, uh, the whole side of the family uh, is LSU. They all went to LSU, and uh, I've been going to games since I was a little kid. Uh, that doesn't mean, I mean, yeah, I'm a big LSU fan, but uh, I'm keeping all the doors open. So, uh, while LSU's big, big part of my family, it's not it's not done deal if I get enough. Okay, any other schools that you want to hear from that you haven't really heard from too much yet? That I want to hear from? Uh, I mean, I've heard from uh, Stanford a, few, uh, I mean, a little bit, but I'd, I'd love to hear from more from them. Uh, I personally like Stanford a lot, and uh, hopefully you can get familiar with them. And what have coaches told you that they like the best about you as a quarterback prospect? Um... I've, I've heard a lot of things, uh, including arm strength and uh, size, I guess. Uh, they all like my size, and uh, now I just got to find my craft, I'm not about size anymore. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be cool if I had 6'5", six, 6'4", six, but I'm not worried about how tall I am, just worried about getting better. What's the top thing that you're trying to work on as a quarterback as you head into your junior season? Uh, I'd like to say uh, definitely footwork, because you never get enough. Uh, when it's come to certain footwork. Uh, that includes everybody. I'm sure Tom Brady will tell you that. Plays people like him. But uh, also uh, my consistency, because I also think consistency is uh, a big factor in uh, how good you are. All right, JT Granado out here at Texas State 7-on-7 seven seven with SB Nation recruiting.